open our eyes to opportunities in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Be upon every one of us tonight, O oh God, even as we want to lay down to rest tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Our standard is also encouraging. Let us do more, and God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Let's share Amen. this. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. The love of God. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Thank you. Meet on Saturday by the grace of the Lord. Let's invite more people. Do not let us wait till Saturday before we start the publicity. Please. God will help us in Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. And raise your up. You need healing, deliverance, miracle, just raise up one hand and lay the other hand on yourself, and Christ is there by your side. After the final amen, your check up, behold, lo and behold, you see the miracle there. Our counselor shall remain with them so that at the miracles are taking place, you see, you bring them out. Let's pray now. Father, we bless your name. We glorify you because of who you are. Anywhere, anytime, in any generation, when people call upon your name, you always answer. And we're asking tonight to visit everyone with your miracle healing power in Jesus' name. You said, whosoever comes, you will in no wise cast out. And whatever we need, whatever you will desire, as we pray and believe, you said, we will receive. And I pray that that healing virtue, that healing power will come to everyone in need right now. 
Heal your people, deliver your people in Jesus' name. Whatever is strong in the body from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, manifest your power. Take every evil thing away from everyone in Jesus' name. The spirit of insanity and madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Any other problem in the head, in the brain, oh Lord, touch your people now. Bring healing and deliverance to everyone. The water head, I pray, will come down to normal in Jesus' name. But eyesight, whether you see dimly or you cannot see at all, I pray that the power of the Lord will touch those eyes now, be healed and see well in Jesus' name. Deafness and dumbness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling in the body, any part of the body, be removed, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the issue of blood and the power, everything touch them now. Instantaneous miracle for everyone in Jesus' name. Ulcer, cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, HIV, be healed in Jesus' name. Any pain in any part of the body, the hand of the Lord touches you now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Arthritis, be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are lame, paralyzed in any way, you cannot rise, you cannot walk. The power of God comes upon your life now. You are healed in Jesus' name. Every manner of sickness, every kind of disease, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Confirmation in every life. Performance of miracle in any life. Lord, manifest yourself now. To the left, to the right, at the back, in the center, anywhere. Let there be healing for everyone in Jesus' name. Online, any nation, any country, anywhere. Manifestation of healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Well, thank you because we know it is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, it is done. Check up yourself now. You'll see the miracle, the healing, the deliverance right there. Amen, it is done. The healing streams are flowing. The power of God has been released. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. That's our national overseer from Liberia. Please welcome him to Ghana. Aquaba. Everybody praise the Lord. I welcome you tonight. A night of power, a night of miracle, a night of salvation, 
a night of redemption, a night of a purposeful, glorious visitation for everyone. A word of prayer before we begin. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Great God, glorious God, eternal God, the one that is able to do all things, anytime, every time, anywhere, everywhere. We're asking, Lord, tonight, the heavens will be opened upon everyone. And your glorious visitation will bring salvation, redemption, healing, deliverance, miracle to everyone in Jesus' name. Fill every heart with your joy. Let everyone receive from heaven. Bless everyone without exception. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight we're looking at the Acts of the Apostles. And I'm reading from chapter 15, verse 14. Acts chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Simon had declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. The verse talks about, the verse talks about visit. God at the first did visit. He visited the Gentiles. He talks about the unchanging God. The oh, when they want to act or when they want to pray, they have an altar. It is that altar that the enemy climbed on. That is what they build capacity on. That is where they stand on to, to act negatively against mankind. And for very long time, the enemy has been using this platform to have authority over mankind himself. On this altar is where everything is determined, is where everything is being concluded. But I want to tell you tonight that there is a counter uh, effort of this. You know, sometimes when you are just praying, you discover that it looks like your prayer cannot even overcome the witch in your house. What do you think happens? When you begin to pray, they quickly locate their altar. They will run into their altar in the spirit. Once they enter into that altar in the spirit, you will pray and pray and pray. You will discover that nothing is happening. Amen? Amen. But I come to tell you today <laughs> that there is something. Once you think that the enemy has entered into their safeguard, I tell you that as a Christian, you have a better safeguard. And that is what we are looking in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong power. The righteous run it into it and is saved. The name of the Lord is a strong power. The righteous run it into it, and he is saved. When we talk about a tower, a tower is like an altar in the uh, evil language. I just gave you a background check now. When you are praying, the first thing that is activated in the spiritual is that 
the enemy quickly run into their altar, a place of their altar. That is where they issue decree. That is where they terminate people's life. That's where they control people's life. But on the other hand, here, he said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. What tower are you talking about? What is a tower? A tower is a... tower and once you enter into that tower understand you are saved amen amen he said the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous runs into it and are saved and so this altar is a special altar Strong tower, tower, a safe guy. Strong tower, when you not say strong tower, you are talking about the name of the Lord. Hmm. And so, once you enter into that place, call that demons, they are only wasting their time. And that is why when we are praying, we activate a realm, a realm that safeguards us, a realm that secures our spirituality. And now this is our old altar, where we issue our decree. Now when you see the enemy coming, when you call on the name of Jesus, what does that suggest? You have entered into your strong power. And you can't operate in that power without knowing the owner of the power. You cannot be saved in that power without having a permission to enter in into that tower. And how can we get the permission? By knowing the owner. How can we know the owner? By surrendering our lives to the person that holds that tower. Not just a tower, a strong tower. There are multiple of towers. But when you talk about strong tower, then there is only one person that holds that, that is Jesus. And so if you surrender your life to him today, if you say, Lord, my life is in your hand. If you say, Lord, I care less on what is happening around, but one thing I'm careful of is you, the owner of that tower. This afternoon, I want us to bow down our heads for prayer. I want to introduce us to the owner of that tower. And like I said, the owner of that tower is Jesus. Once you know the owner of that tower, you don't even need permission from anybody again before you activate that realm. And someone will meet you say, ah, I am very sick. Uh, they need to rush this one to the hospital. Oh, there are battles here, there are battles here. Have you activated a place of prayer? Have you activated the strong tower? I want you to bow down your head and say, Lord, I come. Holy Spirit, I come to that house. Now I can never fail. Come out your mouth and let me hear you calling on the name of Jesus. You say, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved. You will be delivered. How can you call upon the name of the Lord when you don't know him? He said that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. Being made conformable unto his death. You need to know him. Jesus is his name. When you have any problem, all you need to do is to run into that spirit's house. When you are experiencing any challenge, run into that house. Are you perturbed about your workplace? Run into that tower. Are you sick? Are you need attention? 
And some cases, they will say this one has defied medical attention. Do you know there is a tower that can save you? Where the enemy is firing, uh, is sending his fiery dart. Once you enter into that tower, you are partnered with him. It's a strong tower. Once you need any help, locate that tower. Enter into that tower. And you will be saved. Jesus is that strong, strong power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now it is well spelled out that anywhere you hear strong power, it means Jesus. There are towers and there are towers. There are big towers, there are mighty towers. When you hear strong power, you are as activated the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to pray now. And I want you to tell the Lord, Holy Spirit, deliver me from the hand of my enemy. Deliver my soul from death. Open your mouth and pray. Let me hear you pray. Oh God, oh God. Deliver my soul from death. Deliver my soul. Deliver me from the fowler. Deliver me from stealer of glory. Deliver me from my enemy. Somebody open your mouth and pray. This is a prayer platform. You cannot keep mute and say you are praying. No, no, no. Open your mouth and pray. That name is a strong power. Name of Jesus. Father, deliver me from the hands of my enemy. Deliver me from powers of darkness. Deliver me from the manipulator. Deliver me from demons. Internet messenger of evil. Deliver me from people that walk in the dark. I am expecting a prayer movement that will shake principalities. I am, I am expecting a prayer format when you will know that yes, Jesus is in this place. I am expecting a, 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 a platform. Whereby you will know that yes, as I am praying, is ascending to heaven. So you know you cannot uh, be moved and be moving mountain. Somebody open your mouth in your closet, move that mountain. Love of the enemy taking over my home. I must have a strong tower. The enemy have altar. There are people that the enemy have built capacity of altars in their homes, in their houses. It, 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 it so baffles me and so painful that the enemy can build an altar in your whole room. Where altar of prayer is going down. Understand that there is a strong tower that can help you for mercy. Power that you can enter into. And it will activate a very powerful water. And remember what happened to Elijah. It will activate a strong power. It will humiliate the altar. The altar that I've been speaking before for years. This time around could no longer speak because it's over, it's open for recognition. If you allow that altar in your home, that tower, if you build that capacity in your home, this is my strong tower. This is a place of prayer. He said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. How long have you tarried in his presence? 
is present in fullness of joy. <laughs> Stop allowing the enemy to dictate your life for you. Stop allowing the enemy to dictate the pattern of how you will go. Some <laughs> people have become slaves of slaves. <laughs> You have been shattered by the devil. Spirit of fear, spirit of abandonment. The devil has no one your spirit to make them know that your prayer can never be answered. It is a negative altar speaking against your destiny. But if you believe that God is answering my prayer, you are activating a strong hour. You are activating the name of the Lord. Why are you accommodating demons in your house? Why is it that you take manipulators as your friends? They want to take away kingdom from your hand. They want to make you fall away from your maker. I am talking to your spirit tonight. I want you to be angry in the spirit because the devil has cheated us for so long. Many have perished with their own glory because he does not answer their prayer. Somebody say it takes God time to answer prayer. That's not correct. Once you activate that power, the active power begins to work for you. The power becomes an open space for rescue. It can rescue your soul from death. It can rescue your soul from the hands of the fowler. It can rescue your soul from every house. They are sickness activators. They are very smart. They walk with pattern. If in your lineage there is no hypertension, they won't bring hypertension to your lineage. They won't bring it to you because you will not be able to trace it. If blindness is in your lineage, the demon is still coming with blindness. When you have a strong heart, how will the enemy be able to manipulate your power and come and put sickness on your child's body? Somebody called me earlier today. He said, pray for me because we are left to the hospital now. How long will the enemy continue to, to dictate your day? Don't you have plans for the day? They throw you in debt. And then you look at it, hey, when I think God was bringing me out of one, I am entering into another one again. Death upon death, no hope for tomorrow. Understand that the enemy has invaded your prayer life. Our prayer life needs to carry fire this time. See, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. What is a strong tower? The name of the Lord. Who are those in who are those in that tower? It is the righteous one that enter into it that are delivered. The enemy will stick from right there where you are hiding. I will still find you out in the courtroom. I want to hear you pray. I want to see people pray. So there is the day of the Lord. A day of rescue. Deliverance. There is an helper here today. If only you recognize him. Ah. The fear of tomorrow has killed a lot of people. 
What will my tomorrow look like? How will it be? If I continue like this, I don't know if I will get over here. That is the devil talking. <laughs> Your altar needs an activation of God's presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to tell the Lord. This year is my year of making progress. You know, somebody signed it in one of the prayer requests and said, I want God to settle me this year. And I tell you that if you want over this year to God's hands, devil have nothing to negotiate with in this year. Therefore, you are going to tell the Lord, not this very year, I am moving forward. Enough is enough. The enemy must not find you where you are last year in this year. I am moving forward. Open your mouth and pray. In that strong tower, there is no fear. In that strong tower, there is no worry, there is no anxiety. My life is in your hands. And I'm making progress. I am moving forward. This very year, no debt in my life. No, no debt. I will not borrow. I will not beg for money. I will not ask for money. I am moving forward. Say, this is where it's always, this is where you have always been. This is where you have I met you here two years ago. I met you here last week. God forbid this year. I'm moving forward. My life is not built on stagnancy. Is somebody calling on the name of Jesus? That is the strong tower. That is the strong tower. No delay. No obstacle. Nothing will hold me back. I refuse to be at one point. I reject the spirit of stagnation. If you are praying, then open your mouth and pray. So take the strong tower tonight and enter into it. Once you enter into it, witches cannot see you. Wizards cannot see you. Satan will find you, he will know you have lost his horse over you. I enter into that tower, the strong tower. Ah, people are confused here and there. You don't even know where to go. Everywhere is blocked. Blockage everywhere. Oh, God. Blockage everywhere. On this very day, I enter into a covenant with Jesus. That I will not be delayed. I will rescue in my spirit until I prevail. Jacob wrestle. And Jacob prevail. I will prevail over my enemy. I will prevail over stagnancy. I will prevail over sickness. I will prevail over limitation. I will prevail over every negative decree concerning my life. Maybe you don't know. There is a strong altar speaking against your lineage. Either you like it or not, begin to believe it. 
A strong altar. That becomes so loud, representing a giant in your life. We need a person like David, who is very small in stature, but he carry a stronger tower, a bigger tower that can confront and defeat Goliath. I don't care what the patterns of your lineage has been, but the content is here that is called Jesus. Yes, when Goliath are threatened and threatened and bring fear in the life of the people, there is somebody that cannot be shut down. It cannot be shut off. It cannot keep quiet for Christ's sake. I've been running from one minister to one minister, from this one to this one, because you never believe in power of prayer. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Enter into that strong tower today. Sickness is gone. Enter into that strong tower tonight. You will understand that there is no other altar that can speak against your life. This altar has killed a lot of souls. This altar has terminated a lot of lives, but I take exception because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. I take exception because I enter into that tower. Why agent of death, agent of stagnation, where the agents are killing people, slaughtering people, disgracing people's glory? I enter in. I enter in. Into the strong power. And so I am secure in him. I am hid in Christ. Are you praying? Can Jesus hear your voice praying? Ah, Baba. In the house.
Open your mouth and pray while you are in the sun tower. Victory is sure for you. If only you can pray. It looks like I'm not hearing anybody. Yeah. Oh it my! Looks like you are not praying like before. Oh, Jesus it looks right. like your heart is not filled with fire. Take your hand off. 
Take your hand off. Jesus. Whatever I start my business, uh -uh. when I started this business, I have millions. Yes, sir. When I have this, started this, this business, I was making it. Oh my God. Then what is happening now? The hands of the devil is here. Yes, the yes, best thing to do is take out the hand of the devil. I cast it off. I cast it off. Did you plan me? I cast it off. Someone there is tears there. He said that everything has gone deep. It is the hand of the enemy. When you begin to see patterns that God did not create in mankind, this is the hand of the enemy. Take away their hand by fire. I command you to withdraw your hand now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Enter your family and they scatter everything. They take away joy, they take away happiness. They bring failure, they bring limitation. They bring lukewarmness to play is even hard now. It used to be very fiery before, but now I pray I sleep. I pray I sleep. I'm not even connecting with you. What is happening? Wherever you are called now, only withdraw your hand in the name of Jesus. Remember, the name of Jesus is just mentioned. It's a strong power. Remember the righteous, the prayer of the righteous, availed not in the hands of the Lord. Take their hands off. In the name of Jesus. Withdraw your hand. I want to make progress. There will be solutions, I tell you. After solution is celebration. You are going to experience celebration this year.
things and uh, you know. But I want to tell you, what is I tell you that Antarctica is a signal of the end of the devil. Every decision is the end of the devil. And when she touches a life, it works with pattern. Change ailments. Change sicknesses. The other thing.
just left now i don't know why she left i was thinking she's the one that's going to make a prayer request so that we can pray for her but as far as she has led we will call on sister Ituno. uh sister to know i know the rmo is a very yoruba language so i know you understand our language uh i want you to uh to present whatever you want 
got to do before the end of this year as all of us are on this prayer line that i want you to say it's uh, everyone can pray for you about it and i know as we join hand together to call upon the name of the lord god is going to answer your prayer in jesus name so i want you to Amen. unmute yourself and present your prayer request uh and by the power and the blood of jesus christ god is going to do wonder in jesus name as for me there's nothing impossible for him there's nothing he cannot and then before i forget uh pastor omar will just give back to a baby girl so everyone yeah. else you should try to call him to say happy celebration God will answer everyone of us in the name of Jesus Christ. So, uh, Mr. Atunu, I want you to say your prayer request so that everyone of us can pray on it. I know you're almost yourself. Kindly almost yourself. Oh, he said he can. Um, do, can you type it? If I can write it for you, if I can present it before the congregation, I can read it for them so that they can really prefer. I want this year to be a special. I can't say that you know, there that I can't promote myself. Yeah, he's the one. She's the one. And if she can okay. write it the way she writes, I can't promote myself. Okay. Okay. Are you a single or challenges? Yeah, she said. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. You won't take this year by the grace of the Lord. It won't pass you over in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm looking for what I can use to assure you that this year. Uh, will not pass over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I repeat it, this year will not pass over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, Amen. God is God of provision. And then, the time has come. And I will want you to be getting in touch with uh, oh, yeah. I've been looking for testimony to share. I will share it. You know, I have a sister. The reason why I know this year will not pass over you. Amen. I have a sister. I've never seen her in my life physically. But we always discuss on online. And I know she has not married. She's a member from, uh, I don't know if I can be mentioning, but uh, from Abulio Kuta to let you know. You know, because everybody sees us online, a lot of people discuss with me that I don't know. I don't know many. Now, I have a brother here, very close to me. Uh, he is staying in my house, and then I respect him a lot. Uh, if I mention his name, everyone of us we know. They, they are the ones that always use our church. Uh, those people who attend Sunday program. I want my sister to be listening. Uh, that all that always use our program on on Sunday when we are praying. That we say that we can't go for that because this church we he stay with me for some time. He's in the school and then he has PAD. He come from the from what is it from UK to America. I just want you to know God has a plan for you. So, bra, I don't want to mention his name. Very very fun, very very disciplined. You know all those deeper life brother. You can't play with him. You can't say anything. Even me, I, I'm afraid of him. Well, you know when there's a law, there must be fear. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, like as pastor that for now. If anybody wants to say, okay, well, uh, okay, I will tell pastor that for you will see. You know, I need to be fearful uh, because of the relationship between us. So that's just like my brother, my brother to me. Then that sister, we always just talk on the on online. I've never seen her. Then I'm brother, bro, uh, this brother. I wanted, yeah, I wanted to attempt to mention his name. We always talk about sister, sister, sister. You don't mention sister before. He say, oh, this holy, holy, holy brother. Then 
that sister too, I know he's looking she's looking for husband. And I, I always tell her that God is going to provide. You should not worry. God should know. So the day I introduced two of them to themselves, my brother said, no, no, you know him. Don't talk anything about women to me. I, 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 I know him very well. I know what he can do. But God, I don't know why God did this. But I told the other sister too. Well, I have to know that. He said, uh, he said, the day I sent this picture to him, he said, no, I don't think this is my brother. I don't think. Uh, uh, so they are like that. My dear father and I love, especially pastor that was sister, you know, do you know what happened? Behind me, after a year, behind me, after a year, they have gone to marriage committee, they have concluded everything. Mm-hmm. Without my knowledge. And these are people are about to get and introduce themselves to themselves, and they said, no. Not that the plan is. I know two of them. They are very, very disciplined. But the way God brought them together, you won't believe that brother has paid for the sister to go to United Kingdom. Mm. Now, because school is very easy, it's very easier to go to United Kingdom to come to America than coming to America still. The last Saturday he was, he was talking to me, he said, Pastor Matthew, if you know the amount of money I spend, they have never seen themselves like this, but they have gone to marry committee. They have concluded, it, even without my knowledge, and I was the one that introduced them to them. And I know it, there's no R&D, because I know two of them. They are very, very disciplined. Hmm. So what am I trying to say? The way God is going to do it, you don't know. You don't know. And uh, if by December nothing happens, call me. Tell Pastor Dako to tell me that you should remember this day, this day, the brother, the sister will pray for. And then not only brother, not just ordinary brother. That's that's one thing some of us we did. Not just ordinary brother, not just because we want to marry. The bone of your bone. The flesh of your flesh, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to give it to you in Jesus' name. Be Amen. Careful. Never rush. If you enter ungodly marriage, it's better. Is 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 the punishment there is greater than hell. I'm telling you. Go on, ask us. We will, we will go through this. So do not say because you because you want to marry, you want to decide for yourself. Forget it. Only I, I think only when you are getting convinced, the only thing I want you to look for a very good counselor. I just heard about another marriage this morning. This morning, I just heard about the people they are paid. Then go change everything. So, my dear, my dear sister, be careful. But as for as concerning us. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, this year is your year. In the Amen. Name of God. I've had a lot of testimony about my, of, uh, my regular pastor. And then if he's stuck in Washington, D.C., I use the name he used, which is the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, God is going to provide in Jesus' name. Let us open Amen. our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We are not boasting of any other thing. But we are boasting of the power that is the name of Jesus Christ. We are boasting of what we know that the Lord can do. We are boasting of what we know that God Almighty has done. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. This year, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the God will open the eyes of our brother. God will open the eyes of our sister. And the bone that God has provided for them. And the power that God has provided for them. God is going to meet them. They are going to meet together in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear sister. If there's any area I want to be expert most, is the area of this marriage. One thing I want you to know, please do not let the, uh, the uh, what I don't want to use for me, but something you have said, uh, how can I say it, my God? God will speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But when, as a will of God, 
of the law of God. Be careful. Be careful. Do not say because of the pressure from the family, the pressure from the flesh, the pressure from we, the, the leaders, and the, you are going to make that decision yourself. Let the presence of the law be with you. My dear sister, where there is no will of the law, there is no love of amen. There is no love of God. Where there is a will of the law, there is a love of God. So when the opportunity is coming, consider it very well. Is it the will? Is it the law? Almighty God will interpret those messages to you in your heart in Jesus' name. Apart from that, more prayer. I want you to know there is nothing God cannot do. And the Bible let me know if a son of man can ask for bread and they can provide it, what about God Almighty God? He's delaying you for one purpose. God is preparing you for your husband for you. God is preparing you for your husband. Marriage is not a joke. Marriage is not a loving matter. Marriage is not I love you, I love you. Marriage is a rejoining to eternal world. And when you are in that incubator, God is providing, is, is, is planning for you, is planning for your other, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not miss target of the Lord in Jesus' name. What I want to say, every day, take it from me, every day, if it is 12 o'clock, lean down, midnight, lean down, it may not be so tough for you, but it will not be too tough for you to go to all that level. I'm just saying, lean down. Go. You know, I have no any other one except you. I have no leader. I have no mentor. I have, but I depend upon you. This race, I know I can go out the way I want to marry anybody. But I don't want to marry anybody. But the person you have chosen for me. And this is the reason. I'm waiting patiently. Find a man to marry my dear sister. It's not a problem. If you start doing it, I tell you today, today, by the time you go out, wherever you go, you will see a person that will, that will call you. It's just because of your discipline and you are looking on to go. And that God will not disappoint you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So start every just lean down. Make sure you do you do you that's a day you don't do it. Don't it's not a force, it's not something that is pressing you, it's just something like you know you are asking for your father. Something and that the daddy did not did not answer you. One thing I want you to know that not that daddy is not answering you. Maybe you have believed totally that I know him, he will do it. I've done it for my child many times. And he told me, ah, I know, Daddy, I know, you, you, just, you just, I know you will do it. You get what I'm saying? So that thing, God is going to do it. But don't let God know that you are waiting patiently and you totally depend upon him. But this is the right time. You don't want it to pass through this. Pass it through, it depends upon you. It's between you and God. The Almighty Father, the, the, I say the man you have provided for me, the time has come. Give it to me. And if there's no reason, he will be communicating with you like a woman. You and he will be communicating together. It's what some of us we have experienced. This is the reason I remember when I want to marry. And a, a sister came. Say one reason. Say one reason. He brought to me that this is the reason why you cannot marry this sister. So he just said, I just went to him. I love this sister. Why go? Why should I marry? Seven. And I remember, he gave me the seven reason why I should not marry her. I should not marry her. And the all other way, come and ask me. I will tell you my relationship with God. So that's what I want you to be. Let him know. Let God know that you are his daughter, and you are not going to take any decision without him. And you want him to settle the, 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 the program for you. And the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your marriage is a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. You will look back and you will have done a lot of, of relationship in marriage. That no, I never do any arranging. 
But I have a lot of people because of our online program that you know they 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 have they I mean they trust in me, they share with me. I have a sister, he's a lawyer in Lagos. She's not even a member of our church. He has gone to the by the time she married. My dear sister, she told I mean, she told me she has become a lawyer. If you see the husband, you will be surprised. Recently, I just sent money to them. I say I don't have money, but just to appreciate God, I've done in you. Take this little money, use it to buy something for my for my son. A lot of testimony, but please be patient. Why I'm saying be patient? Not that you cannot take God. The the the, 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 lots of people have told, I don't want to use uh, uh, the, the, the brother that backslide and come back to the, to his father's house. So I don't want to use the, you are not backsliding. You are just asking. Uh, okay, even the one that didn't go backslide, he tell him, but I've been with you for so long. And I said, don't you know all what I have belongs unto you? All those good men, they belong unto God and the, one of them belongs unto you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, go and write it down. You will call us for testimony in Jesus' name. Mm. The time mm. that, by the time you will do the marriage, your husband will not be around, and you will lean down beside the bed, and you say, God, so you are going to give me a man like this. And you will not be around. The man, the brother will lean down beside the bed and say, so, God, you are going to give me a wife like So shall he be in Jesus' name. I'm taking our time. Pastor Dapo, yeah. please count it with prayer, with anointing. That all what you have told our sister today, that's uh, that's how it's going to be in the name of Jesus Christ. A testimony will be full about our marriage in Jesus' name. Over to you, sir. Amen. 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 Everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because there is time for everything. Thank you, Lord. And thank God because our time has come. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You say, remember ye not the former thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. Amen. A new thing in our life, in our family, in the name of Jesus. Amen. God can never fail his promise. God is the one that ordained marriage, not human. Mm. Holy Spirit, I pray, come and establish our sister in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that the spirit of error will not manipulate Amen. our husband. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. There are manipulators everywhere. There are errors everywhere. And once anyone makes mistake, in fact, he has beginning to experience hell on heart. But I pray, Lord, that our own will be heaven on earth. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Everyone on this platform is going through. Holy Spirit, I pray. Give answers to everyone. Give peace to everyone. Answer every request in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We will be tired of prayer. Amen. No one will be Amen. weak during prayer. Amen. Amen. That the enemy make people sleep while they pray. I pray that that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Prayer will never go down. Amen. Prayer will not go out. Amen. Jesus. Amen. And at the end of everything, we will not lose our soul. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, dependable Father, because we know you have answered our prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please, I've never done this before, but I want I to ask Pastor that boy. I know she knows sister. It to know very well. I want her to be chatting with me. Please. I want her you to partially release her for me. I want her yes. to be you want to okay, sir. Okay. Uh, you can give her my number, you can everything. I'll just I'll just and then I will just want us to be praying. And yes. God is going to perform testimony in Jesus' name. And Amen. The, uh, this year will be a year in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So please, well, I ask for that. Thank you, sir. Let's just share the grace. 
I said, sir, you know, you can collect my number from Pastor Dakosa. Over. Then, okay, you know. sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. So let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the truth of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Is your mommy? Yeah. Oh, you do you come to me so you can Don't worry, next one. Huh? Not you, are you come? Okay.